Surprise, did I get you? Woo! I mean, one thing I did get was a, <laughs> a workout, you know what I'm saying? Ah, I look Photoshop. That's what I'm talking about. But hey, I'm just your average, ordinary, everyday superhero. But happy Halloween, yeah, man, we made it. But if it's after Halloween, like when I post this, then, you know, just please uh, don't get mad at me. And boy, you better get that out of here. Wait a minute. Hello? Mr. President. Okay, I'll tell him. The president wants you to click the subscribe button, so please, please just do it now. It'll help the channel grow, and it'll make me feel better about myself. It is your mission. Click the subscribe button. Go, 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 go. But yeah, today we're gonna be checking out some scary videos. Go ahead, comment down below something scary. You can put haunted houses, or demons, or my outfit. Let me know. And let's go. Oh, heck no. Bro. Close the window. <gasps> Ooh, heck no, player. You see how it moves? Mm-mm, man, it's time to go. I would have been closed the blinds, I would have locked the door, and I would have turned on the alarm. And his eyes are glowing. Dang, this thing looks like a Halloween decoration that came to life. It's time to run, all right? Or get the shotgun. Can I show you a scary video? Can you show me some smaller glasses? <laughs> yeah, don't leave me hanging. All right, yeah, yeah, there we go. I don't know what this video is, a ghost, an alien. I have no idea. This video was taken in Mexico, Mexico. in 2014. And this video actually comes from a famous TV show called Tercer Milenio. It's a very famous supernatural TV show. So in the video, there's a baseball game happening when suddenly this is captured. Okay. Everybody playing some baseball. Oh. What is that? Uh, your mama? I don't know what it is, but I'm not gonna stick around to find out. Nobody on the field even notices it. That's insane. They just talking about home runs and sliding in the home plate. Talking about the new baseball uniforms. Bro, there's a ghost behind you. I mean, like, like somebody turn around. That ghost looking like he about to take somebody's soul and eat it for breakfast. Ooh, breakfast. Pancakes, eggs, bacon. Mmm. WTF is this creepy stuff at the Yankees game. What? It's just a nice woman sitting, enjoying the game in the rain. Who enjoys the game in the rain? <gasps> oh, she's from that movie, Smile. Ew! Girl, what is going on with your Grinch smile? You look like you just stole Christmas with the green sweater. Do not date her, okay? I don't care how many times she begs and asks you to go out with her. Don't do it. I swear, you forget her birthday. Ooh, it's curtains. It's over for you. That's all, folks. Look at her sitting there. She's got her water right there, and she's got a Diet Pepsi on the other side. That's the face of somebody who's got to use the bathroom. Dang, she's constantly man. Somebody help her out. Point her to the nearest toilet. Let's take a look at this photo. Captured outside of a small area from Chihuahua, Mexico, it is the only definitive proof we have of the Night Lady. Back in like 2009 to 2010, just outside of the city, it was plagued by something very disturbing. It was this woman. She was witnessed and sketched breaking into windows only at night where she would take children from their beds. There was only one child who ever survived an abduction when this woman was caught in the bedroom trying to take him from his bed and she fled through the window. Ultimately, this child was able to give a witness account of the woman. What was learned is that it's believed she climbs on rooftops during the day and then waits until nightfall to crawl through a window. You wake up and at the foot of your bed, you would find her staring at you with a knife in hand. Despite an extensive investigation, she would never be found, nor were the children, but we do have this. A teenage girl captured this through her ground floor window shortly after midnight of what is believed to be the Night Lady. It is the only photo we might have of her. The Night Lady! Ooh. Good luck climbing onto my roof. I live in an apartment complex that's like 10 stories tall. You ain't getting up there, not today. But the Night Lady ain't playing games right now. Girl, lock your windows and make sure that you don't get taken by the Night Lady. Um, ma'am, ma ma'am, 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 can, can we help? Nice nails. If I see this on Halloween, mm -mm. oh my gosh. Woo -hoo! 
no thanks. Walking down the street, that is terrifying. What are you doing out in the ghetto? Like, if that creepy monster knocks on your car window, I'm driving off, man. I bet you I'm gonna try to run that thing over. I'm gonna run it over and then I'm gonna hit reverse and then I'm gonna run it over again. And then I'm calling animal control and then they can take you to the pound. Have you heard the urban legend? Have you uh, heard my phone number? <laughs> you know what I mean? She might, okay. Of Carmen Winstead. Disclaimer, this video is for entertainment purposes only. I repeat, this video is for entertainment purposes only. If you get scared, Never mind, I'll take it back. Click off you can't video. have my number. This story goes way back. Before there were creepypastas, there was something called chain mail, where you would be emailed these scary stories, and if you didn't send them to 15 other people, something bad would happen to you. And the most popular chain mail scary story was that of Carmen Winstead. There was a girl named Carmen who moved to a new school and didn't have many friends, but eventually she found a friend group of five girls. They all became best friends until Carmen realized that the girls were talking about her behind her back. Not only were they talking about her, but they were also spreading rumors about her, saying that she wipes snot on people and that she lives in the underground sewer system. Little did these girls know that their bullying would have the worst consequences ever. Part two is posted. No! Girl, why do you always gotta do the part twos? Girl, you got the biggest blue eyes I've ever seen in my life. Mm hmm But how dare you sucker me into the story and then be like, If you wanna see part two, TikTok allows for 10 minutes. You ain't gotta be doing part two. You can do it all in one pot. Girl, I ought to slay you, take you to dinner. Yeah, take you to dinner. And then I won't take care of the check. Soon as the waiter drops off the check, I'm gonna head to the bathroom. But I'm really gonna drive off. I'm gonna go home. And then she's gonna be stuck with the $500 bill. <laughs> Cut on our surveillance camera. Really? Swimming under the bridge? In that mask? Oh my gosh, yeah, no, we ain't doing it. Nice belly flop, ha <laughs> ha, you dummy. I'm going out at night on Halloween and uh, I better not see anything like this. Cause if I do, I guarantee you I'ma drown you. <laughs> Don't be playing in the water trying to scare me, all right? I'll throw a rock and hit you in the head. And then I'll put you to bed. Terrifying games you don't wanna play, part 30. The Riddle Man game. If you play this game correctly, you will receive unimaginable wealth and blessings for the rest of the year. But if you lose, you will be subjected to a horrific fate. To play this game, you will need to summon the Riddle Man. To do this, you will need a deck of cards, a bag of rice, and a match or fire starter. What? Once you have acquired these items, you'll need to wait until midnight before spreading the rice in a circle on the ground. Once you have done this, you'll need to sit in the center of the circle while shuffling the deck of cards. Every time that you get done with a round of shuffling, take the top card off and leave it on the ground beside you until you come across the Joker card. Once you have found the Joker card, you'll need to immediately burn it while saying the words, I have found you, come bring me my prize. This will summon the Riddle Man. He will appear to you as a normal court jester and will present you with a riddle which you will have to solve. If you answer it correctly, you will be showered with gifts such as longevity of life and good luck for the next year. However, for every riddle you guess incorrectly, the jester's appearance will visibly grow more grotesque and sinister. He will present you with one riddle of increasing difficulty for every card that you flipped over. And if you come to the end of these riddles without having answered at least one correctly, he will turn you into a puppet and take you away with him to his lair to serve him for eternity. Comment whether or not you would play this game and follow for more. What? Are you kidding me? So if I get it right, you only give me like good luck and gifts for one year. But if I get them all wrong, then you take me away for eternity. No, man, I ain't playing. I'm going to stick to Uno, okay? Where the consequences aren't so permanent. Where the worst that can happen is I got to draw four. What is that? <gasps> oh, that I... Mmm... That's like a bunch of uh, a bunch of dang dolphins or something. That's the Loch Ness monster. If you see that happening in the water, it's time to swim the other way. You better set sail in the opposite direction. Why is it like splashing like that? It probably just killed something, and then you know it's just trying to take it underwater. That's a dragon. Mm -mm, man, I guarantee that somebody got drowned just now. To the creepiest things caught on Snapchat, part what, your two. Face? Okay, so we all know about the face swap filter on Snapchat. Yes and we all definitely used it. 
But every once in a while, there's a video that comes out that shows the face swap filter picking up the face of a ghost. In the video I'm about to show you, that's exactly what happens. This is extremely scary and I don't know what I would do. Okay, face swap. No. <gasps> oh, yep, you're done. Oh, it was all fun and games until your face swapped with the demon. Why the heck is the demon playing games, playing with you on Snapchat? It's over, bro. Uh, this man was never seen again. But at least your snap score went up. <laughs> all right, <clears throat> anyway. Remember these pop stick popsicle characters? Not really. SpongeBob. Oh, yeah, I kind of remember that one. Remember the boots popsicle? Yes. And how it looked and tasted. It never existed. <gasps> Are you serious? There's no proof of it existing anywhere. All you will find is a drawing. There wasn't a boots pops. I thought there was. Oh, mm. Okay, what's creepier than Boots Popsicle not existing is Dora's face in the top right. Look at- what is that? Girl, why is your head sideways? Dora is possessed. Oh my god, she's about to eat you for breakfast. And even the one below that on the left, I mean, girl, why- you got them shifty eyes. I can't trust anybody that looks like that. I'm sorry, girl, we are not gonna be exploring today. Can you find the crazy girl? There she is! Girl looking like a Halloween decoration. You're done. But if you enjoyed this video, then go ahead, give it a like. And yeah, I'ma see ya in the next one. Peace.